it was the first public activity of this magnitude since the Forum for Democratic Change Party leadership changed hands from its founding leader and the enigma of opposition politics retired Colonel Dr. Kiza Besije to ex-Army Chief, retired Major General Mugisha Muntu. With a section of party faithfuls raising concerns about what they call the diminishing appeal of the party, the launch of the party's policy agenda probably is a pointer to what the leadership of the party has been up to. Our intention is to disarm, in part, our detractors who go the full length of this country, saying that you and I, political actors in this Ugandan scene, do not have a policy agenda. The policy, the contract they present to the country as a guiding document when the party is elected to power, focuses on what they call better alternatives to the failures of the ruling national resistance movement. The priority areas include the transformation of the armed forces into what the party calls the patriotic force. Military service is the highest form of sacrifice a person can offer for his or for her country. Abusing the military to serving individual interests is the most and the worst degradation that can be visited on the men and women in uniform. The military needs to be honored and as such it is our intention to create an environment that honors and gives dignity to the men and women whilst in service and upon retirement. The party also offers alternatives that they say aims at transforming the social service sector into a better deal for the citizenry, as well as reviewing the investment policy in the country. Millions of Uganda's young people have sought refuge in sports betting. I'm sure you know how many sports betting clubs are there now. They have sought refuge in drug abuse and petty crime. The policies of the government under the ruling party have positioned Uganda as a big, unregulated consumer market, buying almost everything made outside, from toothpicks to textiles and cell phones. Our economy currently operates like a big supermarket run with a kiosk mentality. NRM Secretary General Justin Kasule Lumumba made a surprise appearance at the opposition affair, honoring an invite that many times went unresponded to in the past. In her rebuttal to the issues raised by the FDC, she implored political stakeholders to explore the possibility of working together to generate national consensus on critical issues. We should keep up this spirit as leaders of the party of parties so that we ha we do listen to each other whenever we have an opportunity beyond the iPod platform. What they said in their in their policy their four point policy programs, they are very ideal and they are very good aspirations. But there are so many other factors that have to be considered. She has well insisted that the question of corruption is that which needs combined efforts to curb, not an affair to be left to the ruling party alone. On the issue of corruption, corruption has eaten up all of us, whether NRM, whether CP, whether DP, whether FDC. We should all put our efforts together. The money that is swindled through corruption is taxpayers' money, whatever political affiliation one has. So I really request and pray that all parties, as I extended this gesture and came as the NRM Secretary General, we should have more of this, but we should have more discussion on how to improve whatever is not going on well. The public rallies will be a sneak peek into the strength of the party ahead of the candidate nomination exercise for the 2016 general elections that will see the party battle for the presidency, slots in parliament and the local councils. Sabit Joseph, Davis Television.